Uh, my name is Ann Jo Lee, and I am here at Full Sail um, in this wonderful library with you. Thank you for joining me. Uh, stop saying ah. <laughs> I think I've said this before. My name is Ann Jo Lee, and I am the producer and director on the film entitled Guardian of the Gulf, as in the Gulf Coast, the Third Coast, the Florida Coast. Texas coast, all those coasts, but yes, so it's not relevant to my film. Moving on. <clears throat> um, previously entitled America's Lost Treasure. My subject is the Dry Tortugas National Park, and that is located 70 miles west of Key West. Uh, so it's an island chain, it's a couple of islands, and it is about 90 miles north of Cuba. So if you look at Florida, it's like this. And then Cuba's over here, and then the Dry Tortugas um, is part of the United States, and it is uh, part of Florida. So, oh, oh, I thought I was taking this uh, time out for a second. Practice, practice, practice. So yes, so it's hard to get to. <laughs> it's a really hard um, place to or location to film because it's an island, and there's no electricity, there's no running water. There's no air conditioning. Um, I mean, it is hot, hot. The first summer that I went out there um, with uh, Blake Steigerwald and, um, and see, I, I, I'm gonna just ramble. I could just talk about my film for like hours, but I need to just get to the point. Get to the point. This is why it's practice. Dry Tortugas is awesome. This, the reason that it's so relevant and why I chose this subject is um, because it's some place that I really love. It's magical. It's uh, it's a place in Florida that you can actually camp. That's how I found out about it, was I was um, looking for places to go camping on my summer break at Full Sail. We only have about a week <laughs> to go camp or do anything on our summer break at Full Sail. Um, so I found the place, it was only $3 overnight, but it's, it's like $300 round trip, but it was so worth it. See, I'm rambling again. <laughs> so this place is special, because I love it. I love it, I love it. Um, yeah, it's hard to get to. It's special because it's beautiful. You know, Fort Jefferson is the second largest masonry structure in the world and is located in this park. Nobody knows about this fortress. It's 16 million bricks. It's this massive, beautiful, just architectural wonder. And um, around that is all the nature. So if you're into history, if you're into art, history, no, I don't know. <laughs> art as in funding my film. <laughs> Um, if you're into anything that has to do with nature, um, it's a pretty cool place. But you also have to take into consideration there's no cell phone service, there's no Wi-Fi, there's no showers, there's no food, there's no store, there's no emergency room, there's no doctor, there's nothing out there. It's a tiny island with some bricks and a beautiful fortress. And um, the ferry drops you off and go camping out there. And so what had happened, I guess, is that I went camping and I fell in love with the place and I was like, what is the story about this place? I need to find out. So I kept looking into it, looking into it, and then I made a short film. And so that short film has now snowballed into this feature film. So it is a feature length educational documentary film uh, for both domestic and international distribution. Uh, I hope to have a lockdown on this current cut by July, that's my goal right now. So that is a very, it's a really tremendous goal. Um, and at the same time, I know the footage inside now. So I know what I have, I know what I need to get. I'm here in Florida um, and what better time than now to be doing this. Um, so yeah, I have about 33 hours of footage that I've cut down and narrowed down into an hour um, of a rough cut. And what I've realized is that this rough cut actually, there's too much information, so I'm going to, um, break it down into a six part series uh, and then like have the main film. So whatever doesn't get used in the film, there's still a lot, a tremendous wealth of information inside this um, hour worth of film. And it needs to breathe. I really need room to put the long, you know, landscapes and the scenes and things and really allow the person to feel like they're at the Tortugas. So it's an island and it's really just, oh, it's really amazing, special place that I would like to share with all of you. So that is um, 
that's my pitch for today. So obviously you need some work and uh, yeah, uh, I'm missing a lot of stuff in there. I mean, how important, uh, it's just so much to fit into a little smidgen of time. So this is why I'm practicing, practicing, practicing. I should say that it was during the Civil War, it was used as a prison. So it was like the first Guantanamo Bay. It was a Union fort during the Civil War. So yeah, it blockaded the South actually. Um, 136 shipments of supplies and armor, armament coming from overseas. That's my pitch, I'm sticking to it. Thank you for watching, um, really appreciate it. And I will keep you updated on how it goes, how it goes it. Please check out my fundraising site. Please donate, uh, please come to my fundraiser when I have it. And if you donate over $20, I will send you a personally signed photograph of your option being um, underwater photograph or a lava photograph from Hawaii because I was just living in Hawaii for five years and I miss it very much. Have to be in Florida and make a film about Florida though and then back to Hawaii make more films. Next project actually the opening sequence is going to be shot in Hawaii. That's next though. So and I will catch you on the flip side and English.